Hi guys, this is Hover, and today I am here with possibly my first ever MTs video. So let's just dive in. It's not every day that I get MTs because I jump from this product to another. So if I finished it up, that means I really liked it most of the time. I'm going to start with my hair things. This is the Nature Republic's Argan Essential Deep Care Hair Pack. It's really rich. So if it goes on my scalp, it's so oily, I just can't. So I only used it on, my, on the roots of my hair and I did really enjoy it. But I felt like since this is like a hair pack, a hair mask, a very deep treatment kind of product, since it's not supposed to be like an everyday conditioner, I just thought that it's only natural that it's supposed to be that good. But it was really cheap, so you know, comparing the price, it was okay. I was thinking of repurchasing this just because it's so cheap, but I just got around to getting the L'Oreal thing, which was in a tube, which is much easier to use. This is a tub, so you always have to scoop it out, and sometimes when I open this and trying to scoop it out, I'm just really scared that water goes in. So yeah, I switched to a tube product, but who knows, next time I've used up that L'Oreal one. And if I by chance pass by Nature Republic first, then I'll probably go for this. Next product is a shampoo. This is one of my holy grail shampoos. I It's not completely finished. This is Beyond Professional Defense Shampoo, which is by far the best shampoo for me. I cannot live without this. It's just the best. And I have dehydrated oily scalp which gets even oilier when it's really dry. So right now my scalp it's like it's it's just terrible. The only things that keep me alive are this and the next product. But before I move on to the next product, I just want to say that this is just an amazing shampoo, only if it wasn't so expensive. This bottle is, I think it's about $20 or more, yeah. Now the next product, I don't know where the empty bottle went to, but we purchased it. So this is the second or third, I'm not sure which, it's either second or third bottle that I'm using. And this is Yves, Yves Rocher Rinsing Vinegar, which is silicone free and paraben free. And basically, I have already once raved about this product. Sometimes when it's really dry, even this shampoo can't make my hair itch-free. Well, it does help my hair itch-free for about half a day. Usually, it doesn't last more than a couple hours. But when I use this, then my hair... You know that sebum-y smell that you get on your hair after washing when your scalp is oiling up? For me, after half a day of washing my hair, that smell starts to develop. But when I use this one, it's way less itchy. That smell doesn't come up until the next day. So I can actually, you know, shampoo my hair every second day or every day, depending on whether I need to go out or not. Basically, this is like magic in a bottle. For me, this is a total game changer for me, especially in the drier weather. I don't know, my hair just gets way oilier in the dry weather, so for me it was great. I just wish I could have shown you guys my empty bottle. But what, what I do is I foam it up before I rinse it, so I sort of put it all over my scalp, especially at the back here because this area is where it gets the itchiest. I think it's because I use a pillow and you know the whole friction thing but anyway and I just keep lathering it and it foams up a little bit only a slight bit and then I would rinse my hair with water and my hair first of all my scalp doesn't itch second of all my hair you know the little hairs that stick out they are way smoother they don't stick out as much as you know they would without the rinsing vinegar because like I've said I don't use treatments or you know conditioner close to my scalp so usually they're very raw and they've only been shampooed so it helps condition 
my hair closer to the roots, I think. Oh, and the last time I reviewed this in a fa monthly favorites, I did tell you guys that I would make my like DIY rinsing vinegar. I don't know what it is, but the vinegar smell is just so strong. This smells like it does have a vinegary smell, but it has an overpowering like raspberry, like very nice berry kind of smell. Oh, I love it so much. So it's not as pungent as a DIY vinegar and I felt that the DIY doesn't smooth my hair as much as this one does. So I just went back to this. And then I have two cleansing products. One is this Etude House Perfect Cleansing Oil, which is the brown one. I really enjoyed it. It's thick, but it's not harsh. I've used DHC before, which was really thick. It was like as thick as olive oil and just rubbing it was really, really harsh because I just have to like, you know, like spread it and it was just too much for me. But this has the just the right consistency. Right now I'm using the yellow version, which is moisture, I think. But this one was great for summer when I needed to get some of those oil sebums taken out from my pores. So I really did enjoy it. Not a single drop is left in this bottle, so I am very pleased to say goodbye. Next cleansing product is a eye makeup remover from Apu. This is Mineral Lip and Eye Makeup Remover. This is one of the most popular makeup removers in Korea because it's so cheap but it's mild. It's not as irritating as some of other removers in the market. This guy right here, I had no complaints about it. It smelled nice. I had a blue one, it's called Omarin. Omarin. And yeah, I really enjoyed it, but I just have a ton of other makeup removers at home, so I won't be repurchasing it until I've done using up those ones, but if I had to pay my own money to repurchase a makeup remover, I think I will go back to this one. Yeah, that leaves me some of my very beloved skincare products. I am going to f start with this Etude House Mineral Bottle Facial Mist. I've actually emptied up two of these. I don't know where the other one went to. It's probably with the rinsing vinegar empty bottle which I don't know where it is. I might have thrown them when I was clearing clearing out my makeup collection. But I, I've already raved about this in my last favorites video, so you can go and check that out. But I feel like I can't, I will not be able to survive this winter without this one because it's so dry that I have to wake up every couple hours during the night to drink water because my throat gets so, so thirsty. It gets so dry. Like, it's not even funny, you guys. It's like I'm living in a desert. So, yeah, cannot live without this. So I'm going to repurchase this. I was thinking of buying, you know, little small ones, but I've come to senses and I realized that I need to get the big one. So I'm going to get the big one, which is about this big. Next product is one of many bottles that I've emptied and it's my trusty old skin food watery berry ample. I think I've emptied about like five of these, like I've thrown out a couple of them. Some of them are, I think, in the bathroom. So I've just been loving them. I must be honest, of late, I've been a bit not so close with this one because I have like other like apples or essence serums I've been trying. But I feel like if I'm on a budget and you know not trying out new samples, I will definitely go back to this one. Then next one is whoa. I don't think I've actually finished a lip balm or any lip product, but this one I have. Oh, actually I have finished a Uriage lip balm, so that was actually a lie, but it's my first in the last year. And this is Innisfree's Canola Honey Lip Balm in Smooth Care. It has the green cap. And this line actually comes in three colors. There is the green one, there is 
the white one and I think there's a yellow one I'm not sure the white one is great for the night and this one is great for the day because it has this really nice gloss Like this it's it's not oily but it's a bit like glossy so you can top it off over a lipstick you can use it as a lip balm but I must warn you that it's not the best moisturizing lip balm in the world you will have to keep reapplying it maybe every second hour or even every hour if you need to if you have really really dry lips like me then maybe every hour but it's a joy to put this on because it just glides on so smoothly and it doesn't have those you know like clumps that form when you put on really smooth lip balms and they just like ugh, it doesn't have that so I have a new one which I will be carrying with me the best thing about these stick lip balms is that unlike the tube lip balms like these they don't go hard in the winter so you can still use them even if they are not out of your warm pockets the last and definitely not the least product I've been saving up for the grand finale is my very beloved Hera Cell Essence this is actually a really big one which is 225 mils of product the usual is I think 180 mils I'm not sure if I'm correct I got this for about 75 US dollars and I'm just going back to this there's no doubt about it I've been using these samples that I've been getting I've been getting all these trial kits and since this is one of the best um, and one of the signature hair skincare products it's included in almost all the sample packs or sample kits so I've been really grateful I've already emptied two of these and I've started using this one it's supposed to last me about three three four days but obviously <laughs> I use it very sparingly because I don't want it to go to waste and that wraps up my first empties video I hope you guys enjoyed um, usually it's not like me to do empties videos so this is not going to be a regular segment or anything like that but I think it is quite interesting to tell you guys about the products that I have really enjoyed because if I didn't enjoy I probably wouldn't have finished it up so it's really nice to show you guys what I've been enjoying and I hope you guys enjoyed it too and I am spying a mosquito so I have to go and kill it it's really cold these days and my house is swarming with mosquitoes so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye and I totally and literally killed that bitch. <laughs>